I'll right, quarterfinal, Jana Novotna, the Wimbledon champion, against Patty Schneider, the left-hander, who's serving now from Switzerland. And that's straightaway typical Novotna. It's not a good overhead. That's a good shot, and beautifully for that. Very athletic player, Jana Novotna, always has been. Not only does she make a good run, but she makes sure she whips the racket head through the ball to get the speed for down the line shot. Just on. From Simba. 15. Bit of grey matter has gone into this again. <laughs> From Jana uh, Novotna. And you can see as she gets the ball, she keeps it down very low so that she can get under the ball to play it across court there. Lovely shot. It's illustrated there. Hardly crisp volley up. Slightly dodgy overhead and doesn't volley well naturally. Well, she put the first overhead the wrong way. That came really badly. Need her up at the net again. I think in a way she was quite surprised that ball was hit back to her, and you can see there's no reaction to this one. making Patty Schneider come up the court, making it a harder shot for the pass. 
And uh, Novotna in control in that rally. Fifth signal, 40 low. That. You could show that again and again and again, and you could teach that to any youngster and say that's the way to use your brain in this game. That was a very good finish to the first set by Novotna. Six games to two, she wins it. Yes, totally in control of this last point of this set. She knew Schneider was uh, stranded at the back. Lovely touch there. From Sydney. Stickability. But not in that game. Same uh, look at the way Namot is moving the ball around. Very well played because Hattie Schneider makes a pick up here that uh, surprised me how well she played it and then moves. Keeps her eye on the ball for this smash. Spiel Schneider. Good. making Schneider run all the way across the court. And a nice follow through on that forehand. Oh! 
And this is a bigger one still. Jana Novotna, she makes the play on this first volley. And then even though she's stretched, she's got great control over the racket head. Yeah, that's out, and she has broken back. A couple of assists from the other side of the net, I have to say. But it's three all, and now it's a bit of a match here. The thing is, if you're going to play a drop volley or a drop shot, you've got to know where to move to next if your opponent gets the ball. And Novotna well in control there. You <laughs> can see she's looking. From Simba. Yes. And Patty Schneider's got a pretty nose in front for the very first time, albeit she's a set down. lost only 12 times this year coming into this Grand Slam Cup. Wonderful defence there by Novotna. Just not just the way she's getting to the ball, but what she was doing from difficult positions. Very well played by Patty Schneider, showing us that she has learned a bit more about coming to the net. Nice touch. going to see here how close it was and I'm sure Novotna thought that was Ooh. Uh, the crowd are looking at the replay as you are and we are I think that touched the line put on Novotna Bad for somebody at the end of your first big year at this level. Ah. It was great play by Novotna because she does cover the court so well, but really I, I would have thought a couple of these shots should have been hit harder by Schneider when she had the chance there. Oh, 
Welcome, Senpai. Fifteen. Giving up. Fifteen thirty. Making uh, Novotna play a lot of volleys and smashes in this point, getting her moving around the court. Does well to get this up. Perfectly placed lob. There's a lot of topspin on that shot. You can see by the way the racket head ended up right over Novotna's head. It's the reason why the ball dipped in. No, I didn't really attack that. One eye on this Juice. girl coming to the net, I think. Yes, for, absolutely. It's bit difficult not to watch Novotna when she comes in because she has such presence at the net. chance to do that. she's thinking, I bet up in the press boxes and all those commentary boxes are all saying something about me serving a double fault on match point. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> well, I like that reaction. who've been watching Schneider this year wouldn't have expected it to go neatly. But she certainly hasn't done that. She knows Fully that all 15. the tennis world, all the scribes and everyone else says she can't finish matches off easily. Makes it worse for her, really. It builds up something in her mind. Schneider. is in front again. 6 5. Fault. She controlled that forehand much better, took the first one, the easy one was the second one. No fear tick on that foot. Very dipping shot which caused Novotna problems there on the volley. Set points here. I was just thinking perhaps she should go for one of these, the last 40 one. She didn't have to. Another mistake, and they've been spilling now from the Votner. Her serve and a double fault. Oh. 
hit the ball here when she had the chance with uh, Schneider at the net. halfway through the point here. She wasn't even looking at the ball and it managed to hit the racket. And what a shame when you've got yourself back into it. Great get there by Jana Novotna. Lovely racket work, but this was quite a simple shot. The server's much too short. because moving up to this shorter ball, Schneider doesn't quite have the uh, agility that Novotna does when she moves to an awkward ball. played from Novotna. She steps up into the court. The racket is back so early, so she can hit that shot either way. Novotna, after she's played the drop shot, she knows that isn't going to be the winner, so she's on the lookout for what Schneider's going to play next, and she's standing right there. Thank you. Quite relieved, it was a long point. No, it wasn't, but at least it was played in the right place and uh, Schneider took her time here. Go back behind her opponent. Round well, she does get the racket back very quickly. Oh. 
40 Sekunden Zeit. Athletic movement from Jan and Novotny here, just getting to this one. But then making sure she's moved back so she can cover the cross court shot. Match at, a match at all because he was unplayable. Certainly by Pierline, and that's at the start of the, of the day. And this is a real tussle, and it's intelligent tennis as well. Up the court. She knows this one's going to be short, so she's up the court. Good take back, good shoulder turn. Oh, yes. Played a wonderful calm. 40 That was vintage Novotna. She just thought her way right through that point. It was beautifully crafted. To put it tactfully, she's not unknown to have winning positions and then take a little time to sort them out. She had a match point here on her own serve, four in the second set. From singles. Shot because it was it was dipping, and if in doubt, why not play a dry volley? Oh dear! <laughs> you could feel your elbow go tense, couldn't you? Bluff.
40 Minuten. Nur 5 Sender, 15. Perfect. In the first set, she was uh, taking her time, coming in on the slice, hitting it deep, looking very imposing at the net. shot that one she had to put a lot of work a lot of top spin on that but, uh, give her credit she attacked that ball when she could have felt very nervy indeed and pushed it we're trying the serve volley play there hoping to force an error out of her opponent Very good out there. win the match. No tie break. Won't see a better point than that. Definitely cramped. And this is match point. The other way round. They have the match with no grasp. Oh, that was close. That was terribly close. I really was waiting for a call there. I thought that one was wide. That no. was close, was it? I think that was in. Very close, though. Yeah, that's the way to play the points if she can, but she's really hurting out there now, Navotna.
Very cool under cool pressure down. here, Patty Schneider. She sees the space and goes for it. And the second Grand Slam champion. She beat Sanch uh, Arantxa Sanchez Vicario earlier this year. Now she's put out the Wimbledon champion who served for that match three times. The first time in the second set, she served at 5 4 and she served a double fault. She did everything right, and in the end, she induced that mistake only two inches. And it's taken her to a semi-final against Martina Hingis. And there's so many things that she could do better, Patty Schneider. She doesn't even volley right now. She, she, it looks as though she hasn't got a clue how to volley. Every time she comes in the net, she hits a drop volley. There are a few things that, that you can see that she doesn't actually do very well, that, that, that when you look at the package that she has, the talent that she has, you could say, well, gosh, she, she could do that very easily. And, and Keep talking about Patty Schneider as we take a look at this uh, next uh, point of analysis that I took out. Very, very fluid movement. You were talking. Yeah, well, well, her service action is very nice. Look at the loose grip she has. She, get, she generates a lot of power just from the, the relaxed nature of her grips. You know, she's a heavy Western grip on the forehand side but I'd like to point something out to people you know sometimes club players they wonder what to do particularly on the forehand side uh, how to get through the ball and how to follow through point your elbow towards your target make that your swing thought if you like and that can sometimes help on the forehand I mean it makes you makes you get a full rotation on the follow through you're saying. on the follow through okay. here we go I'm gonna show you this one right here watch the elbow finish that's the sort of thing. It just might help you get through the ball. But I think she is one of the most fluid movers um, I've seen in a long time. And she knows how to hustle as well, doesn't she? Yeah, she's got a lot of fight. And that's a, uh, that's a great thing to see whenever we, uh, or, or rather, whenever we've seen her recently, she's in there for the, for the entire match. And, and she's won five tournaments this year. That is one of the reasons why. Jan Novotna. You have to say, got nervous out there. You don't have to call it choke. There's no need to put that label around her again and again. But the last two Swiss girls that she's lost to have been in fairly big situations, particularly Hingis at the US Open. But here was an absolute classic point where Jana just didn't play it right, Peter. This was at 5-4. She's serving for the match at 5-4, final Let's set. Stop it right there. Can you... Okay, now, in that situation, why not take one or two more steps in and smash this ball. I mean, mm. Jana Novotna has so many problems putting matches away. Well, you know why? Because in situations like this, she goes and opts to hit a forehand volley instead of a smash. And if she had hit the smash, this gap would have been so much more difficult to cover. As it is, the ball has got lower, which is more time. Schneider can make it and comfortably, and Jana is out of position as well. I wonder about Jana Novotna sometimes. How, look, here's this point again. I mean, get take in and one smash more it. step and mm. smash. I mean, it, it only has the ball only has to be six inches higher than what it is. Yeah. And and you can generate 30 miles an hour more speed. 